So, in this little segment, uh, I will be finalizing everything on the Beetle, putting it all back together, and hopefully getting ready to drive it. Uh, so, I may be cutting out a lot of crap that I'm trying to do because it's just boring or just going really quickly over things. Uh, but what we'll do now is just go over the little things that I've done, that I figured out, things like that, and go over quickly what I'm hoping to get done. So, here we go. Let's start with windows. Well, one of the main things I need to do. Uh, it's got some... Uh, both rear quarters have bumpers or uh, little decals that I'm not sure if will be staying. This one, while it seems kind of cool, seems to be pushing the boundaries of what people will hate on and not. Not my car, so who knows. But got to install all the new rubber. Um, need to install the rear T-handle. I... Well, we'll go over there in a second. Um, yeah, also don't have the latch back here for it, so I'll be addressing that. Uh, this one's still got the original latch there. Got the wiring all nice and purdied up, ready to go. I had to do some electrical troubleshooting. Turns out I didn't have the housings bolted down very well, so it was causing a grounding issue. So now all the taillights work, headlights, turn signals, things like that. Uh, I don't have very good lighting here, but anyway, oh yeah, that's completely useless. Uh, had a wiring problem with the uh, wipers. Every time I turn them on, well, every time I turn on the car, they blow the fuse wood. Turns out I had two wires on the switch hooked up in reverse because it's got a single speed motor with a dual speed uh, control, which I think was like 67 and newer. <coughs> so, had to look that up. If anyone needs that information I'm pretty sure I can post it just let me know I ended up not hooking up the fast speed wire uh, like I hooked nothing up to it turns out to be good in this case because the switch is a little uh, messed up so I can turn it into the high speed setting and it'll turn the wipers off whereas if I turn it off as it's supposed to be it'll sometimes keep running so less than optimal um here's what came with the car uh looks like aluminum or just some form of metal door panels with no door handles so i'm going to get those installed but i'm also going to get like probably a uh, autozone special door handles that i can then probably bolt in right around here just if I can get like two bolts per side to securely hold then I'll view that as a win I'm just gonna use machine screws get it into the metal and move on because uh, they need to be able to slam this for now because the door is mangled you can look well maybe Anyway, this door opens way too wide, and I had to move the side mirror a little further back, so I'm not even sure if it's going to be usable. Uh, other things that need to be done, just found out, I think, I think this is jacked up because I would expect like a little arm to be sticking out to catch on to the, to the hook here. It does not do that. So I'm guessing this is probably missing a spring to cause an arm to come out. So yeah. Also replaced... I wish I had more lighting. Anyway. I replaced these. 
because the previous ones were bent right here from this car rear ending someone so now it looks like the hood is lined up nicely uh, anyway windows blah 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 and then still gotta reinstall the sunroof then put the interior back together and I'll probably try and do a makeshift headliner I'm not going to do a proper one that goes in now before I put the glass in because yeah no I don't have time for that <laughs> so anyway that's where we're at I guess I'll get to work Okay, small update. Uh, I was recording the method that I installed the other window and then realized I installed this window. Okay, so where I left off in the last video was me installing the passenger side window, but I was using this window over there because my eyesight didn't pick up that there's a small curvature or something so it wasn't going in right so yeah got this installed you can kind of no you really can't see so got this one installed so both windows installed I've been doing a little bit of WD-40 on the felt to try and loosen it up also got the hood pin or got the hood latch appearing to kind of work it's it's not an easy close so i've still got to do something with that but overall that's where we're at <laughs> screws to finish uh, putting together the sunroof because when I got the car that sunroof was just kind of barely hanging on and beat the shit plus I gotta wait for the 3M weather strip adhesive to dry you know get the felt on there good so gonna move on to cleaning and putting the rubber on the back window and the windshield so let's go Yeah, I'll say it again, right in the camera. Oi! Your nan's got tits! <laughs> ADD was in this video that will be the end of it got everything for the most part put back together um, I'm gonna do some odds and ends off camera because 
Honestly, I'm not sure how much I filmed and how much of it will be usable. And really, I've just got to add door panels, put the seats in, carpet, uh, figure out headliner. All those things I can show in the next video. And it's not really much needed for uh, how do you do this because it's good. Yeah, not going to be anything special. So, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, next one, the car should be fully put back together. Until then, have fun. Bye bye.